Hi students. Okay, so this video is a continuation to the previous video of limit and continuity. In the last video, we have discussed the problem based on the limit of the function. So in this particular video, we'll try to discuss the problem based on the continuity of the function. So firstly, if we define continuity of a function, or we can say that when our function is continuous at a point, so the definition of the continuity state that limit x y approaches to the point x naught y naught f of x y this is equal to f of x naught y naught so what does it mean basically this particular condition state the three different condition the first one is if function should be defined at the point x naught y naught should be defined at the point x naught y naught. That means f of x naught y naught should exist. Second condition is the limit of the function exists at the point x naught y naught. Limit exists. Say it is equal to L. And third one is limit x y approaches to x naught y naught f of x y if it is equal to l then this is equal to f of x naught y naught means if the limit of the function exists then it should be equal to the value of the function at the point x naught y naught so if these three conditions satisfy then we say that a function is continuous at the point x naught y naught right so it means that in other words, if we write the definition of the continuous of function, then we can say that there exists if for any given epsilon, we can say that for any given epsilon greater than zero, however small, there exists a real number delta greater than zero. such that f of x y minus f of x naught y naught is less than epsilon whenever x minus x naught scale plus y minus y naught scale is less than delta. So what is the difference in the definition of limit and continuity? In the limit function, in the limit definition, we are considering the deleted neighborhood of a point means in that case it is not necessary that your function is defined at the point x naught y naught but when we are saying the continuity of the function in that case we are considering the neighborhood of a point because this is the necessary condition that your function should exist at the point x naught y naught so while solving the problem of continuity apart from the limit of the function we need to check one more condition that the limiting value should be equal to the value of the function okay so basically there are two type of the discontinuity which exist the first one is if the limit of the function does not exist if the limit of the function does not exist it does not exist then we say that that function is discontinuous and that kind of discontinuous call non removable discontinuity non removable discontinuity and the second type is if the limit of the function exists limit of the function exists say this is equal to l but it is not equal to the value of the function at the point x not y not that kind of discontinuity is called a removable discontinuity. That is called the removable discontinuity. Why? Because in that case, that kind of discontinuity can be removed if our if we can define our function accordingly. That if the value of the function we assume it as L, then your function become continuous. Okay. So let us start with the problem based on the continuity of the function. So in this case, 
okay the concept of continuity uh, concept of limit is same whatever we have discussed for the limit problem but here we have one additional condition which we need to prove that is apart from the limit we need to check that either the limiting value is equal to the value of the function or not okay suppose we are considering the problem limit your function is defined here as f of x y is equal to x square minus 2 x y plus y square upon x minus y when x y is not equal to 1 minus 1 and its value is 0 when x y is equal to 1 minus 1 and we want to check the continuity of the function we want to test the continuity or we want to discuss the continuity of the function at the point 1 minus 1 okay so here the first step is so here you can see that your function is defined at the point 1 minus 1. So what is the value of the function at the point 1 minus 1? It is already given that when x y is equal to 1 minus 1, then the value of the function is 0. So it is already given here. Okay. Now what I want to know, I want to find out the limiting value of the function. And if it is equal to the value of the function, then your function is continuous. So for the limiting value of the function, we are considering the neighborhood of a point. It means that when x is not necessarily equal to 1 minus 1, it means that in that case your function behaves like this. So we are considering limit x, y when it approaches to 1 minus 1. Approaches means that x, y is not equal to 1 minus 1, but it can assume any value in the neighborhood of this point. Okay. So that's the y. In, in that particular case, the value of the function is x square minus 2xy plus y square upon x minus y. So again, it is a rational form of the function. So when we have a rational form of the function, firstly, we substitute its value in the denominator. So 1 minus minus 1. So your denominator is, the denominator is, non zero it means your function is defined at this point okay so if your function is defined at already told you then what can we do we simply replace x equal to x naught and y equal to y naught two times one into minus one plus minus one scale so in that case this is one plus two plus one upon one plus one four upon two its value is two so in this case, the limit of the function exists. The limit of the function exists and it is equal to 2. But it is not equal to the value of the function at the point 1 minus 1. Because what is the value of the function? The value of the function is 0. The value of the function at the point 1 minus 1 is 0. So they are not equal. So it also conclude that your function f of x, y is a discontinuous. Although the limit of the function exists, but because it is not equal to the value of the function at the point 1 minus 1, it means that your function is discontinuous. And that kind of discontinuity is removable discontinuity. Okay. Now, in this case, if instead of 1 minus 1, we'll consider the point as 1, 1. Suppose we are considering f of 1, 1 suppose we are defining our function as instead of 1 minus 1 uh, we are defining our function as f of x y is equal to same function x square minus 2 x y plus y square upon x minus y when x y is not equal to 1 1 and its value is 0 when x y is equal to 1 1 and we want to check the continuity of the function at the point 1 1 then what do we get here? Here f of 1, 1 is 0. And if we consider limit, x, y approaches to 1, 1, f of x, y. So then what do we have? x, y approaches to 1, 1. This is x square 
minus 2xy plus y square upon x minus y. Now if I put x equal to 1 and y equal to 1, it is 0. The denominator is 0. And if I substitute this value in the numerator, then this is 1 minus 2 plus 1. This is also equal to 0. So basically in that case, we will get 0 upon 0. So in that case, we will get 0 upon 0. So if it is 0 upon 0 form, what can we do? Now in that case, because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of denominator, and basically in the numerator it is a perfect square of x minus y. Right? And because xy approaches to 1, 1, they are not equal to. So it means I can cancel out one of the factor here. And now because they are very close to the point 1, 1, so their difference now function is defined. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So in this case, the limiting value of the function is equal to the value of the function at the point 1, 1. So hence, we can say that your function f of x, y is continuous at the point 1, 1. Okay. So the same problem, if we simply change the point, so we can come up with the conclusion one side. The limit of the function exists, but it is not equal to the value of the function. So your function is discontinuous. Second, the limit of the function also exists. Your function is also defined and it is also equal to the value of the function. Hence, we can say that your function is continuous at the point one. one. OK. So now let us consider the another type of a problem. So here we are considering your function f of x, y is defined as x minus y whole square upon x square plus y square. If x, y is not equal to 0, 0, and its value is 0, if x, y is equal to 0, 0. And we want to check the continuity of the function at the point 0, 0. So now in this case again, the first step is your function is defined at the point 0, 0. Because what is the value of the function at this point? It is 0. So here f of 0, 0, 0, it is already given here. Now for the continuity, we need to check the limiting value of the function at the point 0, 0. So when x, y is not equal to 0, 0, only in that case, it will contain the neighborhood of a point. So your function is like x minus y whole scale on x square plus y square, right? Now, if you just look at this function, we have already discussed this point in the problem of the limit when the degree of numerator and denominator is same. Here, what is the degree of numerator? The degree of numerator is 2. Because x minus y whole square means x square plus y square minus 2xy. So degree is 2. And what about degree of denominator? It is also 2. x square plus y square power is 2 only. And also it is 0 0.04. So if the degree of numerator and denominator is same, then the limit of the function does not exist. When the degree of numerator is either less than or equal to the degree of denominator, and it is 0, 0 0.0 form, then we can directly prove that the limit of the function does not exist. So we need to put our effort accordingly, right? So in this case, what can we do? And one more thing, I told you that if we have a factor x square plus y square, then will preferably convert it into polar form. So we simply put x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. So we can get x square plus y square is equal to r square. And as x, y approaches to 0, 0, it implies that r approaches to 0. 
So this can be rewritten as limit r approaches to zero. What is x? R cos theta. What is y? This is r sin theta. Whole scale. And what about x scale plus y scale? This is r scale. So this is limit r approaches to zero. R scale is common. We have a cos theta minus sin theta whole scale upon r square now r square and r square get cancel out and now even if i open this bracket we get cos square theta plus sin square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta cos square plus sin square theta is 1 so 1 minus sin 2 theta so what do we conclude that the limit depend upon theta so we get here limit x y approaches to 0 0 x minus y whole scale upon x scale plus y scale it depends upon theta but what is theta but theta is arbitrary because corresponding to different value of theta we get a different limit so it means that limit does not exist so limit does not so if limit does not exist, it means your function is discontinuous at the point 0, 0. So hence we conclude that your function is discontinuous at the point 0, 0. And that type of discontinuity is non-removable. Okay, because for the continuity, the first condition is limit should exist. If limit does not exist, then there is no question about the continuity of the function. Right? Okay, now let us consider another problem. So suppose we are considering another problem here, f of x, y is equal to e raised 1 upon 1 plus e raised to power 1 upon x plus y scale when x y is not equal to 0 0 and its value is 0 when x y is equal to 0 0 so here now if you just look at this question so here again your function is defined at the point 0 0 its value is 0 is already given now we want to check the continuity at the point 0 0 so we are going to find out the limit of the function so what is limit x y approaches to 0 0 f of x y this is equal to limit x y approaches to 0 0 1 upon 1 plus e power 1 by x plus y scale. Now, because here it is a sum of two functions, where this function depend upon x only and this function depend upon y only. So if we split this limit, if we split this limit, then we know that limit x, y approaches to 0, 0. 1 upon 1 plus e power 1 upon x plus limit x y approaches to 0 0 y scale because this depend upon x only so here we'll have to limit x tends to 0 1 plus e power 1 upon x and this is limit y tends to 0 y scale already this limit is 0 so the only question is about this limit and in this limit if you just look at this factor 1 upon x so we know that limit x tends to 0, 1 upon x does not exist. Does not exist. Why? Because if I say limit x tends to 0 from positive, what is the value of 1 upon x? It tends to plus infinity. So what about limit x tends to 0 from positive e power 1 upon x? It tends to e power infinity, that is infinity only. 
And what about limit x tends to 0 from positive 1 upon 1 plus e power 1 by x? So it tends to 1 upon 1 plus infinity is infinity. So this tends to 0. But on the other hand, if I consider limit x tends to 0 from negative 1 upon x, it tends to minus infinity. And limit x tends to 0 from negative e power 1 by x, it tends to e power minus infinity, that is 0. Because e power minus infinity means 1 upon e power infinity. And if we calculate 1 upon 1 plus e power 1 upon x, then this is 1 upon 1 plus 0, it tends to 1. So one side this limit tends to 0, other side it tends to limit 1. So what do we compute? So we can conclude here that limit x tends to 0, 1 upon 1 plus e power 1 upon x does not exist. Because either its value is 0 or its value is 1, it doesn't have a unique value. So, so we can conclude that limit x, y approaches to 0, 0, f of x, y does not exist. So does not exist means their function is discontinuous at the point zero zero. Okay. Let us try another problem. Another one you can consider. Suppose our function f of x, y is x square plus y square upon tan x, y. When x, y is not equal to 0, 0. And its value is 0 when x, y is equal to 0, 0. And again, we want to check the continuity at the point 0, 0. So what can we do? So to solve this again, we are given that f of 0, 0 is 0. Because when x, y is 0, 0, then the value of the function is 0. It is already given. Now to check the continuity, we need to find out the limit of the function at the point 0, 0. So limit x, y approaches to 0, 0. Your function is x square plus y square upon tan of x y. Now, what about this case? So here we have x square plus y square, and in the denominator we have a tan x y. Okay. So here we can use uh, one concept of limit. That when limit x tends to 0, tan x upon x is equal to 1. So basically, it states that when x is very small, when x is very small, then tan x is approximately equal to x only. Right? So if it is so, then it means that this is the problem like x square plus y square upon xy. And in that case, degree of numerator and denominator is same. And we have already discussed that if the degree of numerator and denominator is same, in that case, the limit of the function does not exist. So basically, I want to prove that the limit of the function does not exist. So what can we do? So in that case, we can, if the degree of numerator and denominator is same, so I try to make it homogeneous, we can choose a path y equal to mx. Okay. So if I choose the path here, what do we get? So let us choose a path. Let us choose a path y equal to mx. So as x tends to 0, it implies that r tends to 0. So we have limit x, y approaches to 0, 0. x square plus y square upon tan x, y. This is limit x tends to 0. So as x tends to 0, y approaches to 0, basically, right? 
because we have chosen a class of straight line which passes through a region. So it becomes x square plus m square x square. And this is tan x into mx. So this is limit x tends to 0. This is x square into 1 plus m square. And this is tan of mx square. So I can consider it like limit x tends to 0. 1 plus m square and I can take this x square in the denominator as upon x square. I can take this factor in the denominator, right? Or I can simply multiply and divide by m. Assuming m is not equal to 0, right? So we know that limit x tends to 0. Tan x upon x is 1. So limit x tends to ax tends to 0, tan ax upon ax also approaches to 1 because if x tends to 0, ax any constant multiple of x also tends to 0. Okay, so because x tends to 0, it means x square also tends to 0, so mx square also tends to 0. So it means that this factor approaches to limit 1. So this is equal to 1 plus m square upon m. It means that your limit depends upon M. Limit depends upon M. But M is arbitrary. But M is arbitrary. Hence, limit does not exist. So because limit does not exist, because limit does not exist, it means that f of x, y is discontinuous at the point 0, 0. Okay. So there are many cases where we can find out that the limit of the function does not exist. So automatically your function is discontinuous. Okay. One last question I can consider here. Suppose your function f of x, y is defined as x, y into x minus y upon x, k plus y, k. When x, y is not equal to 0, 0. And this is 0 when x, y is equal to 0, 0. And we want to check the continuity at the point 0, 0. So here, again, f of 0, 0 is 0. Here, f of 0, 0, 0, it is already given. So if we calculate limit, x, y tends to 0, 0, f of x, y, then this is equal to limit x, y tends to 0, 0, x, y into x minus y upon x, k plus y, k. And now if you just look at the degree of numerator, x, power 1, y power 1, x minus y power 1, 1. So product means power added, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So degree of numerator is 3 and degree of denominator is 2. Now degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator. And in the denominator, you have an even power with positive sign. Even power with positive sign. So, uh, like I already told you, x square plus y square can never be 0. Okay, when we choose the neighborhood of a point. So, it means that in this case, limit of the function exists. So, if the limit of the function exists, then to prove the same, we simply convert it into polar form. Put x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. So, x square plus y square is equal to r square. So as x, y approaches to 0, 0, it implies that r approaches to 0. So it means that this limit x, y into x minus y upon x, k plus y, k. Now this is equal to limit r tends to 0. What is x? r cos theta. What is y? r sin theta 
x r cos theta y is r sin theta and x k plus y square is r square so you can see here this r square get cancel out with this r and r so we left with sin theta cos theta so we left with limit r tends to zero sin theta to cos theta and here r is common cos theta into sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta minus sin theta so this is limit r tends to zero r into sin theta cos theta into cos theta minus sin theta now we know that cos theta and sin theta they are bounded function their maximum value is one so it means that this is a finite function its value is one or two at most its value is two only and if we multiply it with zero if we multiply zero with a bounded function with a bounded function then that value is zero only okay so it means that the result of this is zero so it means that limit x y tends to zero zero f of x y is zero and this is also equal to the value of the function at the point zero zero So limiting value is equal to the value of the function it means that your function is continuous at the point zero zero okay so here we have discussed some different problem based on the uh, continuity of the function so all these problems that has been taken from your the textbook uh, advanced engineering mathematics so you can refer that particular book and try some more problems to left with on this particular part and if you find out any doubt or any query then you can post your query in the comment section i'll try to provide you the solution of the same okay so revise this topic that's all from this lecture class thank you and have a nice day